The Gulf Coast underwater. Tropical Storm Barry crawling north through the state of Louisiana right now, bringing torrential rain and the potential for life-threatening flash flooding. This is not your usual hurricane story. You're looking at video here from an area near where the eye of the storm came ashore as a Category 1 hurricane. However, the main danger right now is not from high winds, but instead, as Witt was alluding to, from all that rain, there is a up to of a foot more to come here as locals brace for those dangerous floods. Overnight rescues underway. Crews in this helicopter airlifting 12 people and two pets. We have team covers this morning. Let's go straight to Rob, who kicks things off for us from New Orleans. Good morning to you, Rob. Hey, good morning to you, Eva. Well, here it is, the biggest byproduct of Barry, and that is the rainfall, albeit raining lightly here in New Orleans. The heavy stuff extends all the way into Alabama and deep into Mississippi. Barry took its sweet time getting here, didn't it? Made it to hurricane strength, though, and unfortunately now the impacts of this storm are going to last a while longer. This morning, Louisiana feeling the brunt of tropical storm Barry's wind and rain. Watch as this plane hangar gets blown away in Iberia Parish. Up to seven feet of storm surge inundating homes in Terrebonne Parish. People wading through floodwaters and cars left stranded. This storm still has a long way to go before it leaves the state. The Coast Guard airlifting civilians to safety, rescuing 12 people so far. Levees struggling and some failing to hold back Barry's unrelenting push of water. Look at the storm surge here on Lake Pontchartrain. Huge waves on top of a five to six foot surge. South winds just ripping off the lake, pushing water deep into this neighborhood. Vicious winds tearing through communities across the state, blowing this roof onto a parked car and overturning an RV. <laughs> Trees collapsing onto homes. She was sleeping and when she heard it, she knew it was her house. Everything shook. I think the neighbor's house shook. And hundreds of thousands left without power. Local officials urging caution. We are urging residents to shelter in place or make any decisions to move to our open shelters now. What's your mindset now knowing that you're going to have a couple of days of heavy rain in New Orleans? It's going to be a lot of problems for a lot of people, especially with the levee being so high already. Mother Nature is unpredictable. It was early Saturday afternoon that Barry made landfall as a hurricane near intercoastal city, Louisiana. Now this slow moving tropical storm set to dump flooding rain across the south. The center of Barry right now, not even close to being out of the state of Louisiana. Here it is on the satellite radar composite just to the west of Alexandria, just to the south of uh, Shreveport. And that moisture stream extends all the way back to the upper Texas coastline. So we've got to get all through that in between some of these streamers. It's, it's kind of dry. We're in a, a spell of that right now. But flood watches do extend all the way into Missouri and southern Illinois, Paducah, Memphis, Tupelo, Greenville. You're going to get a tropical storm warnings as well. They're still up for especially uh, south facing shores because this southerly wind will continue to push that water up and the storm surge will still be an issue. So here's the, uh, the track of it basically up into Arkansas slowly, but the rain bands spiral up the Mississippi through Memphis and into the Ohio River Valley eventually, but then we kind of reset things tomorrow with uh, heavy tropical rains, potentially from Lake Charles across the Atchafalaya towards Baton Rouge, and then streaming up the uh, mid-Mississippi Valley right on through tomorrow night. Tremendous amount of rain there, but most of the heavy rain is going to be across the deep south. Could see a foot of it here, and the question is, will the bayous be able to hold that? Here in New Orleans, will those pumps that pump the water out of this below sea level area hold it as well? Eva? All right, thank you, Rob. Now let's go further inland to ABC's Alex Perez, who's in Baton Rouge, where major flooding is a concern. Alex, good morning. Hey, good morning, Eva. It has been a soggy 24 hours here in Baton Rouge. The on again, off again rain has essentially not stopped since it started. The storm has already toppled trees and toppled uh, utility poles. A lot of people have spent the last day stuck in their homes following that directive from authorities to shelter in place. And here is the bad news. We are not in the clear just yet. This storm is not over. It is lingering and flooding is still a major big, big concern here. We're going to have to follow this storm. Watch it closely for at least the next 24 hours. Eva. All right. Thanks, Alex. And we'll have more on Barry in just a few minutes, including a live report from Morgan City. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.